starting. Yeah. So, do you see anything? Let me see. No, not yet. Let me refresh my screen. Mm, video unavailable. Do you have another link? It said this video is private. Oh, okay. I guess I have to make it unlisted. Sorry. <laughs> Let me make it unlisted again. <laughs> my bad. I said you should put it on no private. Problem. Okay, stream is starting. We're good. Everything was good on my end, and I can see that you I are bet. in the stream. It's all starting soon. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. And then make sure you keep this, uh, what do you call it, the YouTube video sound. Uh, yeah. Just, uh, can you see the game now? Let me see. We should wait for a little bit, I think, right? Yep, I can see the game now. Oh. We can go ahead. Um, you can head back to the starting stream um, soon, and then I'll go ahead and make it go public. Okay, perfect. All righty. Hello, everyone. Thank you all so much for joining us today. I am here with Outer Reem, who is going to be streaming Minecraft with us today. Reem, go ahead and say, hey, I'm sure everyone has missed you on the channel. Hello, everyone. I hope everyone is doing great. I really miss, uh, miss streaming here. And let's start today. I'm trying an, like a new game for me, uh, which is Minecraft. <laughs> and I'm oh. using my younger brother account. So it's not my account, but still, I am really <laughs> excited to try it. So yes. let's start. We can have a chill stream together. And I'm going to so start streaming the game. Yes, I'm so excited. I actually have never played Minecraft, but when I was teaching, I had a lot of students who liked to play it and a lot of people who were interested in it. So I'm excited to finally see, you know, what it's like in game. Well, to be, pers uh, to be honest, uh, like Minecraft is a very popular game and I think it's pretty old, maybe from 2009 or something. Mm -hmm. So in this stream, um, I just created a new world, uh, which is a hardcore world uh, for the people who play Minecraft would uh, really understand it immediately. A uh, hardcore yeah. world is when I die, I can't respawn again. Like <laughs> you have to be very careful and it have a lot of challenges. So let's go. I'm going to start this world with you together and yeah. uh, every stream from now on i'm gonna play in this world so we can build it together so excited thank you so now yeah. i'm starting with the basic thing like punching the wood with my hand bare hands <laughs> to collect some wood mm -hmm. i really don't know where i am i chose a random place so i, I don't mm -hmm. cheat like <laughs> start <Yeah>. things <laughs> new things together and uh, yes, well, basically, uh, Minecraft. Ha I r at first I wanted to play a high pixel, which is like a multiplayer serv server where we play like mini games against each other. But I felt like playing a hardcore world uh, would be like uh, fun, more fun in a stream. Uh, yes. <laughs> Exactly, especially because you have that element of, you know, surprise, you have to stay alive. Yes. And it's interesting. I might, so you're breaking down all of the wood so that you can build something with it, or is it just part of the survival of the game? Well, wood is the first thing you start with because you can punch it with your bare hands. And from it, I'm gonna, like, this is my brother's skin. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we create, uh, I think it's a crafting table. Yeah, crafting table where we can build things. So. Ooh. Yes, I'm that gonna. Really yes, I'm gonna start with some sticks, and I'm gonna build. Uh, what is that? An axe? Yeah, an axe. And I'm gonna build a pickaxe so I can like mine uh, stone, so we can build Ooh. better things. You know. Uh, this is sand. Let's see. Let's see. Mm, I need more wood. Okay, this tree is empty. You know, uh, Minecraft is, is different than the other w uh, games I played because mm -hmm. I'm not playing with anyone now, like I'm playing alone. 
games. Yeah. So it's a little bit different. I, I really prefer, you know, the games where I play with other people, you know, online communities yeah. and things that, like this. That's why I chose University of the People, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. And that's one thing that's, you know, really fun about being, you know, at your people. And most of our students, they are learning online, but they also get to connect with each other online. And I'm sure you've been able to make a lot of, you know, gamer friends since you started here. Yes. Um, someone in the stream or in the chat said, um, can you explain the objective of Minecraft? That might be a bit of a hard question because I know a lot of people do a lot of different things with Minecraft. Yes, exactly. Like basically in the world I am now, it's a survival mode. Like you can do anything you, you want. Like there is a goal in Minecraft, if you can say that you go to the, uh, I think his name is, I really can't remember. It's a dragon, like the end dragon, something like this. And after you kill him, you finish the game. But yeah. like Minecraft is basically a survival world like you build the houses you mine caves and uh, all of that so it's mm -hmm. a really chill and creative game to be honest yeah and that's something that's really fun to have you know in the gaming world I don't know how many of you who might be watching are gamers but it's really fun to be able to just de-stress and do a lot of different things um, with a game I haven't played Mac Minecraft before, but I'm enjoying watching this gameplay. Um, and the view from it, is, is, is it always first person um, point of view mode or is it just for this hard island um, version of the game? Like you can have like, uh, I don't know how to do it now. Oh, there it is. Like you can see yourself from the back, <laughs> oh, okay. but I don't know if it really like change anything uh, about oh, your question yeah. i think you ask if we can play other things about the survival world mm -hmm. uh, yes i as i said there's a server uh, called hypixel where you can play like mini games bed war and you know hide and seek and all of that with other people so that's another option in minecraft but it's mainly a survival world yeah and that's, you know, I think that it's even the, in a survival world, the fact that people can still make little servers and have their own yes. options to, you yes. know, get, get to know each other that way is something that's really awesome because not every game has that option. Like I play, I play The Sims a lot and a lot of people sometimes compare like what you can do in Minecraft to The Sims game because you can build and all these other cool things, but there's not really an online option for us to like play together. So I like that Minecraft still offers people an option to just play in a group. Oh, I love this little underwater shoot right over here with the <laughs> octopus. I love it. Um, and, you know, have a lot of really cool and interactive um, themes. And this is just a random question. Does it like rain or like the, the weather change in Minecraft or is it more just like the elements? Yes, it does. Like it rains sometimes and with the time it will become like um, at night and you can sleep you can create a bed and sleep so yes mm -hmm. it changed with time That's there's awesome. no snow like um there's a biome you know uh, different places where you go and you find uh, sand beaches um, snow forest you know but in the place you are now it will not snow with time uh, you know i'm fighting now uh, a spider this is not the best thing Ooh. you should start with because i'm probably gonna die and that's a bad thing oh, no. <laughs> i don't know his, why he is putting I all his energy you. why is he trying to fight you <laughs> i don't know i just started guys like, i, I want to chill gameplay <laughs> okay uh, i killed him no. i won yes you won <laughs> monster hunter advancement i know that's right <laughs> Uh, now this is coal, uh, I'm gonna mine it so I can build torches, you know, so I can light up the place a little bit. This is a very slow way to mine a coal. I hate that. <laughs> because you can mine uh, stones and build, mm -hmm. you know, better uh, equipments. Mm. So I think this is what I'm going to do now, so I can mine freely. Maybe it's a little bit dark now, uh, w one minute. Let oh, no. me build some torches. And light That's awesome. You have to literally build everything, you yes. know, yourself. <laughs> you have to build everything. So I'm gonna mine a little bit more uh, stone. So now I'm gonna build a better uh, pickaxe. Ooh. 
yes now this is a stone pickaxe it will mine faster and there is a silver pickaxe gold pickaxe diamond pickaxe and everyone is better than the other you know mm -hmm. which makes sense you know if you're going level yeah. by level <laughs> it really makes sense you know i really like online communities uh whether it was in gaming or in the university of the people because yeah. you get to know uh, new people and from different cultures so for example i'm gonna give you like a life example uh, which is my younger brother he start he's now 16 i think yeah almost uh, 17 years old and mm -hmm. he started gaming maybe three four years ago and wow. the biggest uh, like change I saw in him was his English accent as you can see oh English, wow yes English is not our first language yeah uh, as you can see from my accent <laughs> 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 but if you hear my brother uh, without seeing him you will say that he was born in America like no way oh, wow. he's Arab <laughs> <laughs> wow and that's the thing yeah. too you know gaming it's a, it's a sport for everyone it's something that all cultures enjoy but i do think a lot of the bigger gamers are american so i think that's even a great way for people to learn how to speak english or how to speak any other language by going yes, to different exactly. services that have Not english speakers yes right exactly so i think that's a uh, part of about gaming that people don't always think about the amount of things that you can learn in language, the amount of different things you can learn in like nature. Even um, I remember when I was a kid, one of my classes, they I forgot what the book was called, but one of the aspects of the book was talking about like a red herring and nobody else in the class knew what it was. But I knew that it was a fish because I had played The Sims and like the weekend before one of my Sims had caught um, a red herring fish in game. So the teacher was like, does anyone know what it is? And I was like, yeah, it's a fish. And everyone's like, how'd you know that? A red herring doesn't sound like a fish. And I was like, because of a video game. So video games do teach us things sometimes without us really realizing it or thinking about it until, you know, later down the line when we're working or when we're meeting people or when we're talking even. And then we realize like, oh, hey, yeah, I know what that word means or I know what that item is because I played it in a game before. Yeah, like this is a very great uh, example. Like uh, personally, I learned a lot of words from Minecraft, <laughs> like uh, English words like uh, call. I really didn't know what call meant uh, like a long time ago. Uh, yeah. And a lot of words, like we're going to see it uh, in the future while I'm playing. So it's a really a great way to learn new words if English is not your first language or if you're playing with uh, people from another culture. So yes, practice yeah. uh, the language while playing. <laughs> while playing the game. I think that's a good mentality to have. And it's a fun way to do it because not everyone wants to learn <laughs> yes. about certain languages or different cultures and things like that in a boring way or maybe in a way that would require them to sit down and talk to someone or learn a lesson and um you know this is just a fun way for you to get that same information without having to worry about you know sitting down and being bored while learning yes like you're pl uh, learning passively while uh, playing and while doing fun things exactly as you can see now it's night and in night uh time you can find monsters or i think they call uh, they call it mobs in this game yeah so i didn't find any cheap sheep so i can take you know their uh i don't know what they call it um what is it the, their hair what they what, what do they call it uh, the, <laughs> oh wait on uh, the game i, I really oh, don't know <laughs> Like the, uh, what do you call it? They're, oh, why am I forgetting the words? <laughs> <laughs> You're just supposed to help me. <laughs> I know, I'm like, why am I forgetting the word of it too? Uh, not the rooster. I don't know why I'm thinking rooster now. I'm just like all over the place. I can't remember the name of it. I oh. really can't remember it too. I really need to find the sheep so I can remember the name. <laughs> Oh, wool. There we go. Wool. wool. I'm just right. like, oh my I don't God. know why. I don't know why it was like, I was, I was like thinking about chickens because you had said sheep. I don't know what's going on, but uh wool. 
wall. <laughs> yes, exactly. Wall oh, no. Wall. I have a different color of wool, so I can't, like, build a bed, which is uh. bad. Because I really need to sleep, or I have to fight all of these mobs. Oh, wow. I hope you don't Please have to. Please die, bro. I'm punching oh, him to no! death. <laughs> I can die. Um, some lasers asked, um, how do you play Minecraft? What um, console are you playing on? No, don't die! No, <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm using PC and you have to buy the game. Like, it's for 13 bucks, I think. And yeah, when you buy it, you can play with, uh, with the game with other people. I think there's like a free version where, where you can play alone for 13 minutes, uh, as I Ooh. remember. Yeah, so you can try it, you know, as a, like a demo. Yeah, that's awesome. I thought that, I don't know why I always thought Minecraft was free, but it's been around for so long. <laughs> it makes sense why it wouldn't be. I died. That was so fun. Oh, no. <laughs> but you got a good score. You know, you can still still come back, make it great. Yes, thank you. Okay, since I died in the survival world, and we were and we were talking about you know multiplayer, so I'm gonna play the server, which is, which is called Hypixel. So we're gonna try some mini games together. Uh, in this uh, server, I'm playing with other people. You know, I'm not playing alone. So there is a game that I really like called Bed Wars. Mm -hmm. So okay. basically, every team have a bed, and you have to defend this bed, <laughs> and you can destroy other people's beds so they can't respawn oh, wow. again. Oh wow, that's awesome! Yes. My, that looks like it's gonna be something that is. Oh, I'm excited. It looks all colorful, too. Oh, we have a couple of questions in the chat, which I think are some good topic questions for us to talk about. Um, someone else asked, uh, do video games help develop skills? What mental or physical abilities do they help players develop? I think that is a great question. We actually have a video on our YouTube channel that kind of explains how video games are good for um, different mental development skills and um, physical development skills. So I'm going to link that in the chat. Um, and we also had the iconic, one of our regular viewers. Thanks so much for joining. Um, he said, happy Eid for anyone who celebrates. Yes, thank you. Happy Eid. Yes. And about uh, if gaming gives you any skills, yes, it gives you communication skills if you like uh, play with other people. Uh, they are basically um, very similar to the skills that you get while studying in University of the People, since you get to know a lot of new people and uh, from, as we said, from different uh, cultures and different places. Uh, I'm trying yeah. to defend the bed. <laughs> yes, go ahead. <laughs> Concentrate. But like we were saying earlier, um, you know, you do get to learn about different cultures, different places, different items, different words, um, grammar. There's a lot of different things that um, people don't really think about while they're gaming, but they're subconsciously learning all of those things while they're gaming. Um, so even something like me and Reem, we couldn't, I mean, we both knew the word for uh, wool, but we couldn't think about it in the moment. <laughs> but we both also, um, you know, learned different things from gaming. Like Reem didn't know um, coal, like she didn't really know what it was. And then when she started playing the game, she finally kind of understood the concept. I didn't know what a red herring was, um, but I was playing a video game and one of my Sims went fishing and then they got a red herring. So, you know, everyone is different when it comes to what type of games they play, but there are a lot of different fun things that you can learn while gaming with other people. Um, and they're just culturally, grammatically, um, even like problem solving, strategizing. Yeah. Those are things that are taught to you while gaming. So I think that it's just a really fun way to learn skills that not only are going to have to use in real life, but you can use in your job. You can use while you're studying at your people. Um, there's just a lot of different options for gaming everywhere. Yes, and you can learn to be patient, by the way. If you lose, you yes. will not like lose your mind and be angry. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> there are a lot of people patient. who do rave quits and just are like, I hate it and I'm not going to you know, do it again. But I think that um, gaming really is a way for a lot of people to de-stress. Um, just like food, <laughs> the Iconic was talking yeah. about food. 
food is a great way for people to de-stress. Uh, one of my favorite games, I literally have a whole bunch of different food recipes that I download and I add to my game. Like I have my sim, I've never eaten caviar, but like my, in the game, my Sims are eating caviar and steak and like all these fancy <laughs> things. Um, and like there are certain food dishes that I've never heard of, but bec because I meet other gamers or meet other people who create games or like different items for games, I get to learn about different foods from like Indian culture or English culture or African culture that I wouldn't have learned of if I didn't, you know, sit down and maybe watch a documentary. But now I know what ingredients are used to make the food and I know how the food looks and maybe how it tastes simply by playing a game, even if I've never tasted that food or, you know, been to that country before. Yeah, it really like get you out of your comfort zone, uh, like uh, learning yeah. about uh, new things that maybe if you didn't uh, play the certain game, you will never like learn about this thing because uh, you're in your comfort zone. You don't want to try new things. And, uh, you know, uh, so it's a great way to get out of your comfort zone and meet new people that maybe you will never talk to uh, in your uh, real life. Right, exactly. And, you know, the internet is something that is huge and you get to meet people from all over the world and, you know, get to really learn different cultures and learn about different issues and things like that um, across the globe. So I think that it's a really fun way for you to meet people with similar interests because obviously they're playing that game because they're interested in that game and that's something for you to bond on and like bond about. And then, you know, you can go from there and like relate on having siblings or having parents or anything else. So I think overall, it's a really good idea to just get to meet people um, in a fun way online. And yes, the iconic, I do love cooking, but I don't usually cook in the house. My girlfriend takes care of that most of the time. <laughs> but we, you know, we balance it out. You know, sometimes I'll cook. I'm really good at baking. Like I bake um, like brownies and cookies and stuff like that. I want to learn how to bake bread because there's like a whole bunch of different breads and a whole bunch of different ways to make bread in the world. So I think bread making will be my next step from, you know, cooking and baking. Well, this is a lot of great goals, to be honest. <laughs> Food is number my one. <laughs> yes, food literally is a thing that keeps us alive. So it's definitely something to, you know, always know how to do. And I know a lot of people are like, I'm never going to learn how to cook. But cooking is a skill that everyone should have. Exactly. Like, you know, I have an advice for a new student or even the students uh, that are studying now in University of the People is to take advantage of networking. Like, please right. talk to your classmates. Don't be shy. Ask questions when you need like no one will uh, will hate on you if you ask questions like we are all here for learning and uh, talking to new people so please uh, to, uh, I become very happy when someone talk to me like I feel trusted yeah. like they came and asked me about something I was like no. oh okay thanks for asking <laughs> now I have exactly. more confidence to ask other people Exactly. And that's like a really good feeling. It's hard to ask someone's questions or just like ask anyone a question because a lot of people are maybe nervous to get the word no told to them. But regardless of someone saying no to you, it's really important to just know that, you know, you're trying your best and you ask because you wanted to gain something out of it. So even a no in a way is a better answer than no answer, because at least then, you know, OK, maybe I can't ask this person again in the future. But now I don't have to think about it or worry about it anymore. And I can put my next step or my next foot forward and just go ahead and ask another person to give you that same type of energy or give you the same type of help or mentorship that you need. Mm -hmm, exactly. Like uh, even we, we can ask like our instructors if we need any help, not only uh, uh not only our classmates, a lot of instructors keep uh, their emails uh, so we can uh, contact them easily or through the Moodle uh, directly. Uh, so this yeah. is a thing I wish someone that told me uh, when I joined University of the People uh, in the beginning. Yeah, exactly. I think that, you know, there's a lot of helpful ways for people to get connected, um, like even through Moodle. And I think that communication 
even online is super important because you'll lose that kind of school experience if you just try to work alone. And I think it's really just human nature to try to work together to accomplish a goal. Mm -hmm, exactly. I see we have a, pros a prospective business um, administration or oh, bachelor's of science, computer science student. Um, Maureen, do you want to talk a little bit more about um, your experience with the computer science program at your people? Yes, of course. Like I chose to study computer science uh, because uh, I love computer since uh, school days. But when I joined the university, uh, I get to know uh, about computer science more. And it's uh, really fun. Uh, I still have, I think, four, uh, four courses. And I th then I'm going to graduate from bachelor's degree. So, yes. yes. <laughs> uh, really it was a really uh, great uh, experience. And uh, I'm really uh, looking forward to take the master degrees also. And that's it. If you really love uh, computer and programming, I highly encourage you to join University of the People and study in the bachelor's uh, degree section. Yes, we have great bachelor's degree programs. We have the option for people to, um, you know, also work on certificates. So, you know, it does take a few years to complete your bachelor's degree um, in computer science or any other program from the University of the People. So, you know, if you do, if you are considering computer science, just make sure that you take all the time you need to um, decide on the right computer science program. It can be a certificate, it can be your bachelor's, it can be your associates. Um, but I think just learning in general, if you're someone who's not maybe the best at computers or just want to learn more about it, I think computer science is a really good field to get into because a lot of people are using computers in a whole bunch of different ways nowadays. A lot of people are creating games themselves. Um, and a lot of companies are also requiring you to kind of use different softwares or use a computer to work on different, you know, projects and work on different tasks. So it's just really good to have um, that knowledge and experience because it'll just really help you in the job field when you're looking to apply for something or maybe if you're looking to create your own digital content. There's a ton of possibilities for what you can create and a whole bunch of free softwares to um, make those type of things too. Like a game like this, you could make it in Blender. And if you don't know what Blender is, you go to your people, computer science, and you'll learn about Blender and you'll learn about all the different softwares that they have because um, a lot of games are built using similar softwares, but people just have the great ideas of making them how they envision them in their heads. And they can just go from there and sell things to us to play to de-stress and help us you know improve our own lives as well yes exactly and there's an, a lot of other uh, you know degrees that you can take like uh, uh, business and uh, health science like if you are not really into computers or programming you have other a lot of other uh, options exactly and i think that um you know, there's a lot of options for gaming in general. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of options for what you can do with your computer science degree, just because there are so many different professions out there that use computer science. Um, I see someone asked, um, how much time will it take you people to get WASP accreditation? Um, the accreditation process is a long process because they want to ensure high quality standards for them. And, you know, your people has a lot of high quality degree programs and certificates and things like that. So um, WASP is still working on all of our documentation and all of the approval processes that we're going through. So there's not really a time estimate. It's just once we check off all of the boxes, we will have the approval. But even being considered as a candidate is a really thing, a really great thing that we're proud of because it shows that we do have high quality programs, um, high quality enough that we are even considered by WAS to become um, a candidate or to become a member of that organization. So we're really looking forward to be able to get that regional accreditation so that even more of our students can use their degrees across the world. Yes, exactly. I'm back in the survival world. I started a new survival world. <laughs> and this time uh, when I started, I was in the jungle. 
like uh, I'm oh. surrounded with bamboos and a lot of long trees. Uh, so that's a new place. I didn't play Mo Minecraft in a long, long time. So I'm yeah. discovering new things. That's amazing. I don't think I've ever seen. I mean, I don't play Minecraft that often, but I don't think I've ever seen a bamboo world. So I think that that's actually something that's pretty fun. It kind of shows your different um, demographics too, because obviously bamboo traditionally grows in Asia. So you kind of have like maybe an Asian inspired map, an American inspired map, um, and a whole bunch of different things. I've been seeing like people create like crazy things in Minecraft. Are those done with like custom content or downloadable content? Or are those just things that they make, um, what do you call it, that they just make in game based on whatever resources are already there? Well, uh, you have the basic resources like wood and stone and the things you saw me use. But there are things like, like in the sim, modes, you know, so they like, uh, you can, th it will change the look of stone, it will change the look of uh, the wood. So people create like wonderful things with it. So it's n modes will not give you new items, but it mm -hmm. will l change the look of things. Ooh, yes. that's amazing. I'm like, it's amazing how many different things you can do just with this one game. Because I've seen plenty of different like short videos or TikToks or like reels with someone doing something on Minecraft, but I've never actually, you know, thought about the different modes and all the different options that they offer you all in game. Yeah, it's a pretty old game and a very popular game at the same time. So yeah, every time they add new things, like now I'm playing and discovering new things that I didn't see before, like this biome, uh, the jungle and the bamboo, like I never saw it before. So it's new for me. That looks awesome. Yeah. Um, student said that gaming for them is a great way to distress. And I 100% agree with that <laughs> <Okay>. statement. <laughs> yes agreed um it definitely a lot of people don't think that it helps but it definitely helps me feel less stressed usually at the times where i'm feeling my worst i always just think like at least i'll have gaming and i'll at least have something to just let all of my bad thoughts and just you know have something to be distracted with and i think that gaming is something that really is helpful to a lot of people um Someone else asked, I really don't know about Minecraft, but some video games are very violent. Do you think they influence their play players to be violent in real life? If so, what should we do about it? Um, I don't think that games make people violent necessarily. I think that violent people, some violent people like to play violent games, but I'm not going to say everyone who plays violent games is a violent person. Um, I think that, you know, gaming is make-believe. And that's something that is part of every game. It's not real life. It's not something like Bream is currently climbing up a building with no, <laughs> and, you know, climbing up a, you know, a wood tree with no help. And even in the games, you're um, usually shooting at things that aren't human or like are fake species and things like that. So I don't think that gaming makes people violent. But, you know, I think that people might take their own personal beliefs or personal um, opinions for violence outside of the games that they play. Um, and I do think sometimes like people who do want to do those violent things in real life might play those violent games as a way to de-stress and as a way to kind of make themselves feel less violent. But I don't think that the games themselves will make them more violent. I think it would actually do the opposite and maybe have them chill out some more so that they don't do those violent things in real life. Yeah, How about they can green? do it. They can do the violent like thoughts they have in game and distress. Right. Most of the time, violent uh, thoughts are from stress. So yeah. when they uh, play, uh, they they feel better and they will not have this violence thoughts again. And as Sarah said, I think it's the opposite. Like people bring violent uh, thoughts to game to games, not the opposite. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, it's a. am just glad that games exist for people who need that outlet. Um, even if it's just, there are a lot of um, different types of games out there. There are cozy games, um, games like Stardew Valley, and um, game, I'm trying to think of like another cozy game out there. Um, 
uh, what's the island game that everyone plays on Nintendo Switch? Uh, I don't know why I can't remember yeah, it. I can't, when you said Nintendo, I immediately remembered my, Mario yeah, Kart. I'm like, I'm, <laughs> yeah, Mario Kart too. that's an example. But I mean, I guess you could say like Mario Kart is a little bit dangerous, but not really. Um, but I'm trying to think of like, oh, Animal Crossing. There we go. It's like Animal Crossing, Stardew Valley. Um, a lot of different games that are on there are not violent. Um, so, you know, there are options for people to play different games. They can play games that relax them. They can play games where they build. They can play games where they manage a resort or manage a amusement park. You can play games where you play as an animal the whole time or play as a yes. ghost or, you know, there's different options out there for everyone. It's kind of like reading. Like there are plenty of books out there that have, violent storylines or have negative things that happen there and people read those books and they believe in those books or they don't and then there are plenty of games out there that they have violent storylines or they have um chill storylines and people believe in those storylines or they don't so i think it really just comes down to who the gamer is and how they choose to play the game and how they choose to interact with the world after they play that game but i know minecraft isn't the only game that you've played on the channel ream um, do you want to talk a bit more about some of your favorite games to play for anyone who might be new and might not um, have known about your gaming history? Yes, of course. Most of the time I played League of Legends, which, which is a very strategic game where you play with a team. So it really helps you to develop your teamwork uh, skills. And uh, I also played Valorant, uh, which is from the same company, basically from the same company uh, called Riot. Uh, but most of the time I played League, as I said, League of Legends, uh, you choose character and you fight, uh, you fight with, uh, like, you are a five-member team and you fight against another team and the first one who destroyed the other one, uh, you know, turrets and base, will win. Uh, so Minecraft is a, a different genre than League of Legends, uh -oh. but I, I, I love yeah. to try a lot of games like from different you know genres and all of that yeah and i think that's a good way to be a gamer in general because mm -hmm. a lot of people don't have the option to um you know try those things in real life like you might be able to like fly <laughs> in <laughs> a game or you might be able to i don't know drink wine or you know be in a boat on a river, you know, things that yes, you can't actually Sailing do. like I'm doing now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, like things you can't do. I've never been on a boat, but I yeah, would too. love or I've never, you know, swam in the ocean, but I've played games where I've been able to experience that feeling of being in a river or being in an ocean or flying in the sky. Things that I might not do in real life for a really long time or ever. Like I would not just fly in the sky with no superpowers by myself. <laughs> But these are things that can happen in a game and the amount of graphics and the amount of design that goes into making games like this, I don't think that a lot of people really appreciate it because it takes hours just to create a scene that looks like this and not only a scene that looks like this, but also a scene that you can have someone interact with and build something with based off of the type of item that they get. That's a whole bunch of coding. That's a whole bunch of animation. Yeah, I that's love a whole bunch coding. Of, yes, that's a whole bunch of um, art that a lot of people don't really think about when they are gaming. So, you know, not only is gaming kind of a science because you have to know the coding and the mathematics behind it, but it also is an art because obviously the science and the coding wouldn't be appreciated without it looking the way that it looks and without people being given the option to change it so that it looks the way that they want it to look so you know gaming might seem like something that only kids do or something that isn't for everyone but it really is for everyone yes exactly like for example uh, uh minecraft this game was made by java uh programming language and they talked a lot about it like they tell everyone that minecraft is made by java so yeah. uh, a lot of uh, like programming uh uh, youtubers build uh, like alternative to uh, Minecraft 
with Java or other languages only for fun or f to experiment new things so yes right. and Minecraft have an educational addition I think that teach you coding especially for young kids like they put Minecraft and coding at the same time so it's a really great way to teach uh, children how to use co PCs and how to program and to learn more about the games that they play like not only play it but learn about it so yeah, this, this is a great and thing. I agree. And especially like learning about it, coding, all of those things. Like if everyone learned how to create their own video game, I think a lot more people would feel comfortable about, you know, video games in general, because there's a lot of work that goes into it. There's a lot of practice that goes into it. It's not something that's just learned overnight. So I think that, you know, appreciating the hard work and, you know, time, because I'm sure when you first started, you weren't able to do this as smoothly or even know which things were put together to build certain items. And now you can do mm -hmm. it, you know, and easily. Like for new people, they can, I'm going to show you how to build new things. Like you put the crafting table and you have this small book on the left. And here you can find things that you can craft. And when you click on it, you can see how to build it. So, yes, and with time, you're going to remember things. That's awesome. I at least you have the option to look at that. <laughs> a really tiny house to put my bed <laughs> here. So I can go and continue mining. And uh, It's called Minecraft because you mine a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but that makes a lot of sense. Minecraft, literally mining to craft. And crafting, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> A perfect name, a perfect game. It's a brilliant idea. And I think, actually, let me see when Minecraft, when was Minecraft created? I um, think it was created in 2011. Oh, 11. Said, yeah. So, oh, wait, it says, oh, actually, there's two dates. It says it was, oh, private testing. It was first made public in May 2009 before fully being released in November 2011. Oh, that's a long mm -hmm. time to be honest i think my brother have to uh, have this game since 2018 2017 wow. maybe yeah that's still a long time too and i think that um not even it being a long time but just it having the you know 11 years of still being around there aren't a lot of video games that it hasn't i mean i don't know if there are like i don't think there are expansion packs or anything like do they update the game regularly yes, how do they do. In, Okay, so do they bring in new features with each update, or is it a little bit different? They add new mobs, and new stones, and new wood, you know, new items in the game. But they don't add a new mechanism in the game, because it's basic survival world. But they add right. new things inside the game. As I said, the bamboo, this is the first time I see it. Maybe they add uh, new fishes, uh, new birds in the game, you know? Mm-hmm. So that's this awesome. is the thing think, that comes with every update. I think that's a lot better than what a lot of other video games do. Because I think that sometimes um, when video games try to update or when they try to include new information, they end up kind of messing things up <laughs> for, uh, you know, everybody. Because um, before you realize it, there's something that's like a core part of the game that you can't even use anymore. And like I, I play The Sims a lot, so whenever I play The Sims and there's a new update, there's usually something that's like super important to the game that breaks or that needs another hot fix update or something. And that can be really exhausting and really tiring to, you know, constantly have to update your game every month or like every couple of weeks if there's something that just came out. Um, versus just them adding a couple of layers to what's already there or improving on what's already there um, so that it doesn't break the game. So I'm glad that Minecraft kind of has that down at a good place, you know, after 11 years and can kind of release things that are helpful to the game without breaking any of your favorite gameplay aspects. Yeah, like just imagine if uh, now you can swim in game and after the update you can't swim anymore. Like that would be messed up. <laughs> exactly. It would be frustrating to have to deal with. So I'm glad that you guys don't have to worry about that because Minecraft, I'm sure there are a lot of people who like build their own worlds from scratch and everything. So yes. it would be really frustrating if you couldn't get to a certain part of your world or couldn't do something there anymore that you did before to build everything that you needed. 
Like next time I'm gonna show you what my younger brother built because he's amazing. Like I don't think in ri in real life uh, architectures can do the same thing. Like he built wonderful things, uh, houses under the water and a lot of maybe things that you can't do in real life. You can't yeah. build in real life, but <laughs> uh, it's but amazing. Like it really help your creativity. Yeah, I think that's something that's awesome about it too. Like you get to build different things, you get to try different ideas that you um, haven't thought of before. And I really like games that give you that ability to just, you know, test out new things that you didn't have to test before or that you couldn't test before because, you know, it's really hard. A lot of us don't have resources on a regular basis or we live in places that might not have the safest, you know, things around us. So I think us being able to play video games and do all the things or even try some of the unsafe things <laughs> that uh, we can't really do in real life, I think that does help people feel a little bit better. And like we said, de-stress and kind of get some of those ideas or thoughts out of their head so that they don't have to do it in real life. Or if they do do it in real life, they can at least practice first. <laughs> yes, like I just built a cube house, <laughs> literally four walls. <laughs> Yes, Look at a this. nice little house with a door, with a bed, with some lights, <laughs> with a window, I think I saw. Like, well, I'm looking for sand so I can make glass so it can really become a, a, a real window. So you have to give me some time. <laughs> Take some time. I'm, I, I'm loving it. <laughs> Thank you. Well, uh, this was a great start for this world uh, that we can build together for this time. Oh, I don't think uh, we have uh, so much time. Uh, lift yes we have pop we can do another like 15 minutes since we started a little bit later but we can do it till uh i guess 12 15 your people time yes uh, i'm happy to do it for two hours so don't worry <laughs> yes <laughs> i would but i do have a meeting after the stream <laughs> <laughs> otherwise, I say yes thank you so much but otherwise i said yes but we will have our Esports live streams weekly. Um, if you're someone who is interested in potentially live streaming, make sure to check out our YouTube community page. On the YouTube community page, there is a post about signing up for interviews for the esports live streams. So um, that link will work until July 18th. So you guys all have until July 18th to apply if you're interested in maybe streaming to the YouTube channel. We do want to start doing more like team streams. So like for Minecraft, if multiple people have the game, then Reem doesn't have to stream alone. She can stream with someone else. Yes, or if please. you have, yes, or if you have any other games that you might think that you are interested in streaming, there will be an updated esports game list for us to kind of look through and approve together. So you guys don't have to worry about that. And we can, you know, you know, just start small and try these new things out because I think that gaming is a great way um, to build community on YouTube and to build, um, you know, just friends in general for anyone who might be a student here already, who's already um, interested in getting to know other people and is interested in gaming. I think um, being part of our live streams is a fun and easy way to make more gamer friends at your people. Mm -hmm. Like having, uh, you know, uh, team streams will be so much fun. So if, if anyone plays Minecraft or League of Legends, uh, you can join us and we can stream together. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I think that's a really cool idea. And, you know, gaming is all about community. It's all about friendship. So I think that, um, you know, making friends this way is a great way to, you know, be able to, you know, make friends that are interested in the same things. It is hard to make friends. I know people try to pretend that it's super easy, <laughs> but it's hard to make friends, um, especially in this day and age. So definitely make sure that you take your time and do your best um, when it comes to finding the right friends. Because, you know, even gamer friends, it's a hit or miss sometimes. So just give your ch yeah. yourself a chance to meet different people and experience different things. Um, when you are making friends online don't be toxic guys stay away from toxic people exactly <laughs> that's a great tip to give new people <laughs> yes life is too short to um not you know not surround yourself by people who bring you peace Look at so definitely <laughs> oh the glass is working yes i made the glass i, I love it i'm so happy details. by building glass 
It lo- it's a perfect touch to the window too. I'm like, at first it was, it technically was a window, but the glass adds that little extra, the <laughs> bling that you need to it. I didn't even know you could do all this in Minecraft. You got a little fireplace going, you got the bed. You can do light. a lot of things, like a lot of things in Minecraft. <laughs> wow. Like there's love, there's love in the middle of the lake. Look. Wow. Wow. Like, please. <laughs> That's can, awesome. I can see love in real life. Wow, I love it. I'm here for it. I'm just like, wow. See, I, I mean, I, I'm <laughs> always the type like, oh yeah, I would want to touch lava, but obviously we can't touch lava. But, you know, in the game, you can at least see the lava. Yeah, I that can't touch amazing. it in game either, but I can see it. <laughs> exactly. Like, wow. And that actually looks pretty realistic. I know they usually just use cubes or whatever, but that actually looks like pretty real lava. Yeah, even though, like, everything is a uh, square, <laughs> but still... Yes still look decent i like the look of it like minecraft i i've built a new better appreciation of it today oh i think they should pay me <laughs> yeah they should they should cut cut her a check minecraft if anyone from there ever watches this sponsor us, us. <laughs> cut her a check, sponsor us <laughs> I'm eating, yes, you can eat in Minecraft because uh, you'll be hungry from running and mining, so you should mm-hmm. eat. Don't forget to eat, guys, your proteins. Yes, that's how you stay, keep your heart healthy in the game and in real life, you know. Make yes. sure they're eating as many healthy foods as you can, but still, you know, it's perfectly understandable to indulge and have a little sweet snack. Can you make like can you make other foods in Minecraft or is it just mainly mutton that you can eat? Yes, I can make a cake, but uh, wait, I don't know the Ooh. recipe. I, oh, I don't recipe. think I have the ingredients needed, but I can make a cake in the game. I really don't know how to do it. I I need eggs. Uh, I, I saw a chicken. Wait, I ah, oh, there's a chicken. Please mm. give me eggs. I want to make a cake. <laughs> Please. I don't know if this is the way to find eggs <laughs> by like asking a chicken, but maybe. Wor- See, is that worth trying? <laughs> don't fall in the water, chicken. Just give me eggs. Come on. Uh, I can wait until you give me eggs. I really don't know how to to make a cake, but I'm pretty sure you can make a cake in game, and you can make bread. Oh, yeah. yeah, I think you can make bread. Look, it's that was night awesome. time now. I'm like, there are options. There are options. I love it. Mm, there's options. And uh, now we're night. And lava give us some light here. Uh, I have a square house. <laughs> Literally a square. Yes. Uh, that looks amazing. Fine. I'm like, this is this is a whole... Oh, wait. Um, The Iconic said, can you cook barbecue in Minecraft? Uh, I don't know if uh, this cooked maton, you can call it a barbecue, but it's okay. I I, I, I cooked this meat, but I don't know. Uh, Oh, I have an egg! Oh my god, I already have an egg. Oh, you have an egg. Did the chicken give it to you? Uh, Maybe. (laughs) I asked her a thousand times, so. (laughs) Thank you, chicken. Where are you? Where's the chicken? I don't know. I want to thank her. Can you keep them as like a friend or no? Uh, I think you can get cats and dogs as friends. You can find a random dog and give it uh, bones and food and it will be your friend and it will follow you everywhere. And there's parrots. Also, there's parrots. Uh, You can find parrots and give them seeds and they will be your friends. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's fun. I love Mm -hmm. it. I'm going to look for one next stream. (laughs) I'm going to put the entire stream just to find a pet (laughs) dog or cat or a parrot. I love it. I'm ready. I'm gonna sleep so we can like start uh, under the sun again but rest Uh, wake up I uh, like this first person view that they give you (laughs) yeah look at this mob he's dying under the sun please leave my boat this is my boat don't steal guys okay my boat is safe again uh, I'm gonna try to, um, you know, yeah, uh, plant some seeds. So I think I need a shovel. I'm gonna Ooh. get a shovel so I can get. Uh, oh, 
A shovel? <gasps> no, maybe I don't need a shovel. I, I really can't remember. Wait. Um, I can't remember its name. Wait, let me try something. Oh, there it is. Uh, oh, okay. I can use this to plant some seeds. Oh, yes, I love it. Oh, we have someone in the chat from United Arab and em em um, Emirates. So oh, really? thanks for guests. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining us today. Mm -hmm. Amazing. That's awesome. Thanks for joining. Yes. So I, I have now uh, this uh, small farm. <laughs> mm. yes. A CD plate achievement. <laughs> I love oh, it. It's raining. See, it's raining. Oh, it's raining! I just asked too. It was just waiting for the right moment. <laughs> <laughs> now I can water my plants, so I can get wheat, and from wheat I can make a cake. I really want to yes. make a cake. <laughs> Yes, do it. I think you can get apples from trees, like random, randomly you can find uh, apples. But I don't know how rare they are. Yeah, honestly, I think that, uh, app I love apples. I love apples and peanut butter. That's like one of my favorite healthy snacks. Oh, wow. I, I didn't try it personally, but I'm sure it tastes great. Yes. I'm gonna try to plant this tree. I have a tree sapling. Oh, I planted a tree. That's awesome. Uh, I'm gonna wait until they grow up. I can't wait. Uh, where's my boat? Let me find my boat. Let's go on a trip. Uh, so a student said they don't know for them, but um, they can't watch Minecraft for too long. It hurts their eyes because of the pixelation. Yeah, I guess the squareness, that would make sense, but I kind of like the aesthetic of it. it. It's nice. And the rain, too. The rain is definitely um, a really nice touch. I'm glad that they have weather elements. Yeah, even the sound, you know, of the water and the rain and when you are walk walking on dirt, uh, really the sounds, are, they're like white noises or something, so it yeah. really helps you calm down. And sorry if, you know, Minecraft squares uh, annoys your eyes. Uh, oh, yeah. You can get used to I, it, I, don't I mind think, it. with time. I think with time you can get used to it. Maybe because I played before and I play other games, uh, it doesn't really bother me. Yeah, I like. I feel like gaming, you just kind of get used to staring at any type of anything for a while. So <laughs> you end up feeling <laughs> a little bit better when it comes to... You know, just anything that you do. Yeah, and also it's like the you know the VR headsets. Every uh, first time you use it, you'll feel like dizzy and it feels very weird. But with time, you're gonna like get used to it. Yeah, I think that even I mean every game you kind of have to get used to any look of it. But I think Minecraft is something you know everyone should at least try once. I think I'll maybe try it this weekend and see how I feel about it. But I've also been working on a whole bunch of different projects for my other video games. So, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> like there's always something to do, always new games to try. It's the fun part about gaming. I think that gamers in general, we like to be kept entertained. We like to be kept, you know, coming back for more. And I think that gaming companies do a really good job at creating the hype and creating the energy and the new content that we need every couple of months to keep us coming back. Yeah, exactly, because if you play the same thing every day, you're gonna feel bored. Uh, or you can try like multiple games at the same time, that's another solution. Yeah. But keep the game uh, updated uh, every now and then, uh, it's a great thing to have. Yeah, I think so too. And I'm really just loving the rain, I'm like, it's heavy rain, but it, it looks good. Yeah, like, I don't think you can, like, uh, ride a boat a uh, under the rain, like, a very, very heavy rain in real life. Yeah, in real life, it would probably sink the boat because it would be <laughs> full of water. <laughs> but it's okay, Minecraft is not real, so we can do anything exactly. we want. <laughs> exactly. And, uh, student, yes, eventually, hopefully you get used to it. I hope that your eyes are feeling okay. Um, after this, I see the chickens coming back around. Yeah, um, I think it's my friend now. Uh, not uh, like really, but uh, it's my friend. It's next to my oh, house. Yeah. So, hi. I love it. 
Uh, can I feed it the seeds? I don't know if I can feed the chicken seeds. Uh, I can try. See. Let me try. Uh, can I get the seeds? <gasps> I gave it seeds! Oh, you did? It worked! Yeah, I can feed the chicken seeds. Let oh. me find more seeds and give you. Oh, he had the heart come up and everything. Yeah, I can't feed it again, but uh, I fed it once. <laughs> That's awesome. And student is from Jamaica. Thanks for joining. I'm currently in Houston, Texas. So I'm happy that we have people from all over the world here today. Um, and I'm sorry to hear that you had a terrible time on um, the Iconic in the office getting wind um, hitting your face. That must have been some terrible rain. I made a bucket so I can get water. Ooh. You know, I think I can get uh, you know lava with this bucket. <laughs> Let me try. I don't know what w will I do with lava, but uh, it's a cool thing to have <laughs> in my yeah. hand. Let me try. Might as well. Uh, okay. Let me go close to the lava so I can try and put it in the bucket. I remember that I can have it in the bucket, so let me try. Okay, let's see. Oh, I have lava in the bucket. I really don't know what I should do with lava. <laughs> I'm sure they'll give you a, a new recipe. Yeah, like, uh, <laughs> like 100% sure they will give me a new uh, a recipe with it, but I'm gonna leave it for now and I'm gonna take water <laughs> to water my yes. plant. Yes, I my love it. And farm. then we have someone said we should play Mobile Legends. We do have a few people um, who are esports streamers who haven't been able to stream to the channel yet, but they will stream mobile games in the future. So keep coming back until we do. Um, and Yes, I think that it's a good idea for us to keep on trying with that lava bucket because I'm sure, oh, not a little pool, kind of, <laughs> but I'm sure that uh, you'll be able to do a lot of great things with it. Yeah, um, yeah I'm going to try to figure out what I can do with lava and all of that. Uh, let me try to sleep until the rain finish. No, I can't sleep. Oh, no. That's a lot of rain. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is a small block of wood that I will take. You know that uh, there's different trees that give you different type of wood. Like not all the trees give you the same wood. You oh, know, that's a different. That's a thing that I really like. Like, look, I have jungle planks and oak planks, and they are different color, and from a different wow. tree. That makes sense, though. I mean, all trees have different abilities and all those great things. So. It would make sense that they would have different uses in game as well. Yeah, that uh, I think when uh, the game started, they only have maybe one tree and one animal, and with time they brought new, uh, you know, new trees, new uh, animals, and all of that. I'm, I'm glad. I'm like, it takes time, but you know, they'll eventually bring the things that we ask for, even if it takes too long. Mm -hmm. I build a chest. So I can keep my items because I have a lot of things on me. Mm -hmm. uh, so if I like went for a long drone, uh, journey or something, I can come back and find that my items are still like in the chest or yes. in the box. Mm -hmm. I think I need a sword. I need a sword. I'm gonna build a sword. Let's build a sword. Cause why not? Uh, you can build a lot of things in the game. Like uh, this recipe uh, book, uh, I, I have four pages now. But every time I find uh, new materials and all of that, I can like build uh, uh, more new things. things. Yes, that's cool. And I'm glad that they give it to you like automatically when you find the new item, so you don't have to like find. This is a cake. <laughs> Uh, I need three bu buckets of milk and two sugar mm -hmm. and one egg and three wheat. Oh, you got the cake! <laughs> yes, I found the cake! Finally, right when we said it, right? Right where we got five minutes left. To kick. The cake said, it's my time to shine. Can you do like birthdays in Minecraft too? Or is it more just like you can just eat the cake for health? Yeah, just eat the cake. Like eating the cake anytime, not only for a birthday. <laughs> yes. 
And Marzia said how energetic of a person you are, the iconic. Yes, he was dancing while riding on a bike. <laughs> yes, I was like a really fun time. I hope that I'm glad that you were safe on the bike, even though you were dancing on it. But it still sounds like a really good time. And um, thank you to everyone who has been joining us as well. Reem is a word. We have five minutes left in the stream. So, you know, make sure to like the video and chit chat in there for the time being. Reem is, um, you know, building her house and doing what she needs to do. She's been surviving. This is night four. And she made a friend with a chicken and that made some cake. <laughs> Just great things. Great things have been happening in this stream. I love it. Yes, like it's sad that we're gonna finish soon. Uh, I thought the time went very fast, but uh, uh -huh. we can stream more often. Yes, and you know, next week, hopefully, um, Fridays and Thursdays are typically our stream days. So if we can't get Reen to stream next week, we will get someone else to stream. Mm -hmm. And um, if we can, hopefully, maybe get two people to stream together. We're trying out new things with our esports live stream. So Make sure that you guys are staying tuned and catching up with us all the time because we really enjoy chatting with you all, talking about gaming, talking about the world, talking about food, <laughs> talking about um, your people and all of our amazing programs. So, you know, keep coming back. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you can keep up to date with all of the new type of live streams that we're going to be doing in the future. And if you have any game in mind, please uh, like write it down in the comments so I, I'm up to play any game, even even though if I don't like played it before, I can try new things. So if you yeah. have any suggestions, please uh, like type it in the comments. Yes, we love hearing you guys' suggestions. There are certain games we can't play, of course, because we are at university, but we want to mm -hmm. hear all of your suggestions. Um, you can also look in the description box of all of our videos um, to find all of the social channels that you can follow all of our streamers on. Reem has a Twitch, Instagram, and a YouTube channel. So if you want to see um, Reem stream other games that maybe have some violence or maybe have um, games that you're more interested in, make sure that you subscribe to Reem's YouTube channel and follow her on Twitch and Instagram so that you can keep up to date with all the other games that she plays that may not be your people approved, but are still awesome to watch. Yes, thank you so much, Sarah, for all the things we talked about and for this awesome stream. Uh, thanks everyone for joining. I'm gonna like uh, keep the rest of the things that I want to do for the next stream because there's no more time. Yes, there's an endless possibility of things that we mm -hmm. can do in Minecraft. So happy we had so many people join us for Minecraft today, and we will do another Minecraft stream in the future with Reem and potentially another one of our students. Um, so thank you all so much for joining us, and um, we will see you on the next one. Thank you, everyone. Have a great weekend. Goodbye. Yes.